America needs Christianity. America sure. needs that because Judeo-Christian values are about people being self-regulated. A free society only will maintain if we are self-regulated. But if we are not self-regulated, are we totally out of control? The government necessarily grows. Just think of even the gun rights debate. I the, fundamentally, I fundamentally, Wait, no, absolutely finish. disagree with that that's argument. That's fine, but it's still true. It's because not true. Of, it is true. This because is, the thing this about is, it is if we no, adhere to the Constitution. No, what does that have to do with people being right. irresponsibly procreating? That's biology. That's human nature. Just like our gun laws. We did not even discuss limiting gun rights until after Columbine. People got out of control. Right. And you have some good points in it, but I want to tie in something you said. I want to back up just a second to what you said, because uh, a gun right, well, that's going to be a whole other conversation. <laughs> um, but the, the concept, though, of um, uh, you're talking about, you know, that we, we're pushing out basically religion. We're pushing out Christianity, essentially was what you're alluding to with some of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, though, with the concept of the history of how it used to be, you know, Christian and other private organizations that were offering the different services with the concern that we need to make sure there's something in place for that, you know, zero to five-year-old or zero to six-year-old, mm -hmm. um, just leaving us maybe with the thought, um, maybe the last few comments perhaps on whether we could do what he started off talking about is, uh, I think, if I heard him right, of getting the government out of all those things and, right. and not tax, oh, not overtaxing and not overregulating. If we allow those private and specifically religious organizations to step in and be able to make those offerings to people so that we can get needs met without government trying to figure out how to reinvent the wheel in ways that we as people should be trusted to be able to come together uh, to be able to provide for each other in, in that way. It, right. Churches can't um, raise enough money in order to exactly. have preschool for everybody. And, and, that's, and that's what right. my point, if you're having a mass number of children who are brought into homes, are being raised up, where the parents are not stable and able to adequately care for them, the church cannot cover that. No. But if the church, if the church is not restrained as much as it is today, though, financially, it's the big reason why a lot of churches don't get politically involved, for example. Right. So if we can separate all those restraints and take the chains off of our different religious organizations, then we're able to allow them to rise up and truly offer, make offerings and make connections with people in the community where people are then able to understand and get tighter roots to their Christian faith or other faith and be able to have that support system system and be able to learn those morals, which again is something that is very important. I'll just say our state constitution says that religion, morality, and knowledge are necessary to good government. That's in Michigan state constitution. So at any rate, I think Mom if we and tie dad are in, working. They don't have time for all that stuff. So they're, they've are they got to do the best they I can. I remember one, right. of my, one yeah. of my teachers in college said, mentioned that like, you know, with more women going to work, no one talked about who's going to care for the children. Right, right. <laughs> but, but why were more women going to work in the first place? Again, we since 1973, mm -hmm. we have lost 98% of the value of our dollar. That, mm -hmm. that, now there we now, go to another point. That, that, those, that, those, that, those are the two things can be true that at is, 